if you're feeling thirsty for being so scared, we have uh, great beer. We have uh, canned deals, pint deals every Wednesday. Uh, Alex is your bartender, Tim and Well. And if you have the appetite for anything after all this scary shit you're about to see, uh, we have nice yummy, easy, cheesy pizza, courtesy of Morris Pizza Kitchen. You can order that at the bar. I'm one of your co-hosts, Tom Bauer. Give it up for me. Gracious as I introduce my co-host, he's dressed as someone who loves scratch-offs and gas station slot machines. Give it up for Monty Bubba Jones! Guys, is everyone so scared? Who's so scared out there? Everyone, everyone scream as loud as you can at once. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Make some noise if you've been here before. Make some noise if you've never been here before. Oh, okay, are y'all the Fantasy League people? Yeah. Okay, all right, so who's the lead? I need a leader. What was the Fantasy League for? Water polo? You? Okay, Robert. <laughs> Everyone say hi. Robbie, Robbie. Robbie? Everyone say hi, Robbie. Hey, Robbie. Hey, Robbie. It does sound a lot cooler than Robert. Yeah, yeah, it totally does. Especially in a Fantasy League. Can you imagine if Robert was beating you in a Fantasy League? <laughs> Seriously, what's the Fantasy League? I thought uh, football was still going. It's for... Last year. It's, it's for last year? We got... Were they... Were y'all on, like, COVID or something? We, you couldn't find you. You couldn't find... Oh, y'all, wait. So y'all were looking for a mic for that long? Yeah. Holy shit. Why well, y'all from here? Yeah. Most of us. Most of us? Who's not from here? No, all of us. Oh, not me. I'm here. You don't even know? That. Is that why you're sitting away from me? And you're like, I don't know who the fuck that is. Yeah, they're from Loudoun. Are y'all from Loudoun County? We live in Richmond. We live in Richmond. Oh. I moved a while ago. Oh, where? You were from Loudoun, though? Yes, yes. Okay, well, stop being so Loudoun about it. Hey, come on now. Spooky what spooky is that? What kind of spooky shit is that? <laughs> is that like, what is, is that someone drowning in a pool? <laughs> it sounds like what Loudoun County sounds like right near the state line. One in five people you know will get cancer. <laughs> Do you suffer from mesothelioma? Were you at Camp Lejeune? <laughs> Were you the one fucking at Camp Crystal Lake? Hell yeah, dude. We only have seven comics tonight, but God damn it, it's some of the best comics in here. And these guys, so... And y'all are most of the crowd, so that's so fucking sick. Uh, so, what I want y'all to do is, uh, Robbie's people, what do we, I need something to call like, your collective. The Robbie Rousers? Yeah. Yeah. The sick fantasy league team name. Hell yeah. Wait, Robbie, what's your fantasy team, team league name? Um, I forgot. <laughs> that means it's racist. Yeah, it totally is. It totally, it totally is. I don't know, I just forgot what my name is. <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't, know, I don't know what it rhymes with. He has all white players on his thing. <laughs> That's why you lost. <laughs> 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 oh shit, that's so good. Well, Robbie, your what I want you to do is go on Instagram, pull your phone, follow Bay City Comedy on Instagram, because this is an interactive show. If you send us DMs to our uh, Instagram, we will read them live during the show, so please make fun of me, make fun of Tyler, make fun of all the comics you tonight, make fun of Robbie and... Who's the other guy? Uh, well, we got Brian and Brian. Shaden. Wait, where's Brian? No, Ryan. Ryan? You're Ryan? Okay, alright. Robbie, Ryan, which, who's going to be funnier? Which one do you think? Yeah, it's Shaden and Ryan. Oh, sh who's Shaden? God, these names are getting crazier as we go. <laughs> all right, Shaden. All right, who's gonna be funnier, Shaden or Robbie? Robbie, Shaden, you haven't said anything. Ryan? Wait, Robbie, you have nothing to do with this. <laughs> he won. Uh, he won. That's why he's the leader. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he owns all of them now. <laughs> Not in that way. No, in that way. <laughs> <laughs> What's your costume? Me? Yeah. Oh, uh, alright, so I'm going for a, I'm going for a liberal news reporter trying to sneak into a Trump rally. No. <laughs> no. Or like abusive stepdad, I don't know. <laughs> Go to your room. It's 5.30, I don't care. Lowercase QAnon. 
<laughs> I like that. Uh, any of y'all believe in QAnon shit? <laughs> Do you know what QAnon is? No. Me neither. <laughs> don't let these, don't let this crop top, or this, I don't know what this is. Anyways, uh, are you ready to start the show? Tyler, do you want to start the show? Do you what are you? Who no. are you? Uh, I'm the aggressive, progressive sheriff. <laughs> everybody, this town is big enough for everybody. Bring all colors and creeds of people. White, brown, purple. Uh, <laughs> Hell yeah. He, he, whenever he gets in a gunfight, they're just called standoffs. <laughs> Don't you love it when people are like, I love everybody, white, brown, purple. <laughs> it's purple. <laughs> I like Grimace. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it sounds like when Grimace talks. That's, that's why he doesn't speak. It's a theory. Okay, are y'all ready to start the show? Woo! Well, let's start the show the same way we start every single show. On the count of three, can I get, ooh, let's do a scary one this time. Can I get a big boo, Monty? One, two, three. Boo! For my super progressive, my super sheriffy co host, Tyler Bauer. Boom! Boo! Tyler One second. Maybe you should have been patient for Halloween. Uh, <laughs> Boom! Tyler on three. One, two, three! Boom! Alright, your first comic coming to the stage. He's a very funny guy. Uh, he got his penis out, dude. It's gonna be so. Fucking sick. He used to call us this show, and now he's here, and he's gonna host all over your face. Please give it up for the very funny Danny McCain! It was a graveyard smash. It was a graveyard smash. Oh my god, how are we doing tonight, Basic City? Good. Love to hear it, love to hear it, love to hear it. Um, just so we can get out of the way, uh, I am not Barnacle Boy. I, um, any guys ever seen The Boys? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you know that, uh, don't tell them what happens to my character. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said, oh, yeah, he knows. He knows. I was thinking more of, like, don't let Danny around The Boys. <laughs> He's Danny McCain has off. no ass. He has negative ass. This is crazy. He got a clam, dude. <laughs> I only work out the glutes, so uh, yeah, there's nothing there. Why'd you stick that on with packing tape? <laughs> uh, you know, covered in uh, packing tape. You know, Halloween just happens to start at the end of the month, so you know, you gotta work with what you got, right? Gotta get those bills to pay, right? Oh man. Yeah, they don't take the balloons anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know what reminds me of paying bills, though? You know what reminds me of paying bills? Uh, reminds me of paying bills is work. Uh, any of you guys work out there? Yeah. 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 No. No. It's just like, yeah, I don't, I don't work. I just come to basic anytime I want. Hell yeah. And protect all the oceans. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Remember when you have those beer canisters, since we're at a brewery, if you got those six pack holders, cut them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, this isn't just a costume. I'm here to do a PSA about the turtles. If any of you guys have a fucking straw in the audience, get the fuck out. Yeah. yeah. Please don't do that. We need people. Oh wait, actually, yeah, I don't know. If you have a straw, stay. Don't even, don't even move. Piss under the tables. Yeah, there we go. All right. So uh, yeah, no, it's uh, you know what always reminds me of work is bartending because that's what I do. I, uh, I bartend, we're in a bar, stuff like that. Don't you mean barnacle tend? <laughs> no, 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 I don't, uh, I don't bartend, I bartenacle. <laughs> yeah, no, I got an octopus taped to my crotch. Um, <laughs> you don't say. I don't know if y'all could see it. Uh, don't worry, I'm doing you all a favor. Damn. Um, that octopus is an eight-legged freak. Uh, yeah. It's actually a uh, non-tipus, if you catch my drift. <laughs> yeah, I got this thing for seven tentacles, and no one could know. There you go. That's what it sounds like when the octopus comes. <laughs> I'm, I'm progressive. Yeah, so I'm okay with all of. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. Both me and um, Slimy here. Um, and uh, you know what's crazy is, uh, you know what uh, octopus, or like, octopuses are cephalopods. Do you know what cephalopod means in English from Tyler? Tyler. They don't have... Uh, am I supposed to spell cephalopod? Yes, yeah, spell cephalopod, Tyler. S-E-P. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn, we got 
so I was that early. All right. Uh, no, so it means head foot. And I got to tell you, oh, I'm getting a foot of this head. Oh. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Octopussy. There you go, yeah, you know. Uh, I gotta say, uh, octopi are very smart animals, and uh, <laughs> they know how to use their hands. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, I'm feeling a lot of that brain right now. <laughs> All right, no more of the bestiality jokes. Danny, this is disgusting. Hey, don't ink shame. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, one could say I'm a little inky. Uh, <laughs> But you know what else is inky? Inky, uh, inky, more of a play on kinky. Uh, yeah, we got any y'all in relationships out there? Woo! Woo! Look at that. We're deep in October. I know y'all went to those pumpkin patches. Y'all are looking at each other all romantically. You guys see yourselves, you know, oh man, you know, where's this gonna go? The fall colors. And then she turns to you and she says, fellas, am I right? She turns to you and she says, would you still love me if I was a worm? Yeah. yeah, yeah? Good man right there. He knows. He knows. And that's the crazy thing is, would you still love me if I was a worm? Sure. But there's more to that. Because, like, what type of worm are we talking about, you know? I mean, like, me, I like all types of things, clearly. <laughs> You know, uh, where's my worm gonna go? Like, you know, what if, what, what if she's taller than me? What if she's taller? You know, uh, what if it's more like a dune worm, you know? Do I have to uh, bow down in the name of the spice? You know, do a little bit of this and then you hear, ah, 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 ah. I can hear that packing tape just creaking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's that or his kneecaps. <laughs> what? You guys can see the packaging tape? Fuck! Oh man, no, damn! Uh, no, no just, just kidding. I know it's very obvious. I uh, made myself a little. Uh, the the little oceans wanted. are just that polluted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all the microplastics. That's what they call Danny's, Danny's penis, a microplastic. Yeah. And you don't want to know what an oil spill is. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Ooh, ooh. Can you imagine Danny coming in the ocean and the entire country is just pissed? <laughs> Everyone's like, what the fuck? What do you mean three red flags at the beach? Okay, all right, yeah. <laughs> Comment, <laughs> lifeguard judge. Comment from the crowd. Again, you can message Basic City Comedy on Instagram. We'll read it live on the show. Comment from the crowd. Davies built like Mike Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> this is the eye right here, you know? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's funny. No, but, uh, you know what's also crazy is, um, yeah, uh, the, like, you know uh, those like automatic feeders you have for pets? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Y'all think I need one of those? Because I think I do. Yeah. What, for the octopus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, when you uh, stay in profile like that, it's extra gross. <laughs> oh, is this a little too much for you? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm just hanging ten. To God, it looks like Squidward's nose. <laughs> <laughs> Squidward is my best friend in the world. Yeah, no, but uh, <laughs> are, are you a bikini bottom? Yeah, this is a bikini bottom. And I know it's small, but these are some sandy cheeks, so. Yeah, yeah. We're getting all them puns out there. You fish, you, went, you didn't come tonight, so. <laughs> Comment from the crowd why are there nine tentacles on that guy? <laughs> oh, stop. You're gonna make me blush. And slimy blush, too. Oh, man. No, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll leave you all with one last one. one. One last one, you know. Uh, what led me to my path of having sex with octopi and other uh, mollusks. Oh, let me get a slice of that octopi. Yeah, let me get a, let me get a slice of that octopi. Bitch said, I, my pussy tastes like octopi. I said, I don't like, even like octopi. <laughs> she said, it tastes like shellfish. And I said, this ain't no shrimp. She want, she want calamari of this calamari, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know what the cuisine word for octopus is. We're just gonna go with squid. Uh, comment from the crowd. Danny has the body of a fish in the arms of a 45-year-old Greek man. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, your back is kind of crazy, though. Can you show the audience that? Oh, yeah. That is. Check ooh. that out. I've never seen a hairy fish before. Check that out. I know. Three of y'all just fainted, and I assume that's because you were so turned on by it, you know? 
that? How do you not overheat? Your internal temperature has to be insane. So actually, if you're like me and I'm um, like part Wookiee or Sasquatch or whatever, it actually helps with heat regulation. Yeah. That, I, that's what I tell myself. I don't know if that's true. Um, <laughs> but I'll leave you on this one. Uh, you know, uh, we've all been out there, uh, you know, getting ourselves, <laughs> you know, in the deep. Am I right? And, uh, you, you know, but we all have to get there somehow. We all have to learn how to get there. And this is the story about how I got there is, you know, you guys ever had to talk when you were little? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, you guys want to know how I got the talk? I, uh, how, well, actually, how did you get the talk? I want to know that. It was two dolphins going to Danny, like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they call it the, the crabs and the reefs. It's not the birds and the bees. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh... Danny has crabs in his reef. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, it's, uh, what can I say? I'm a shellfish lover. Um... But, uh, yeah, no, uh, so uh, how I got the talk, you want to know how I got the talk? Yeah. I asked my dad one day, I said, Dad, why do people hate Bill Clinton? And uh, what that led to was me getting the talk, and he, uh, he just sat me down, he's like, all right, I want you to tell everything, that, everything to me that you know about, like, what we're going to talk about. And so I just start rattling off cuss words and body parts and shit, I'm like, penis, shit, vagina, fuck, you know? My dad's like trying to not to laugh, holding it together. And then, you know, we go through a few rounds of this, and then he's like, all right, is there anything that you know that's beyond this? I said, well, the boys at school, they said that there's one word, one word out there that I can never say. And uh, they're like, all right, what word is it? And uh, yeah, I said, it's the P word, right? I know what you're thinking, but it's not the P word you're thinking of. So we go back and forth and back and forth. Is it plankton? <laughs> there you go. No, it was, uh... <laughs> yeah, no, it was, uh... Fuck, uh, it was, it was pearls. Yeah, like pearls from an oyster. No, the, the word... Yeah. The word was pervert. The word was pervert. I, uh, I was so naive that, uh, I thought it was pervert, and, uh, that led me to, uh, being so naive and so misguided as an adult that uh, I now have an octopus on my crotch. I hope your I hope your dad was wearing that while he was giving you the talk. <laughs> <laughs> Comment from yeah, the crowd. I admire his confidence. Dot dot dot. <laughs> <laughs> I admire your comment. Comment from the comic. Nuh uh. I have a dream. Well, I'll leave you all on one last one. You know, on the topic of sea creatures and all that. You know what you, uh, you know what you call a snake that can't slither? A reptile dysfunction. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. My name's been Danny McCabe. I fuck sea creatures. <laughs> he fucks sea creatures. Give it up for Danny McCabe, everyone. Oh, yeah. We got a whole lot of show left. Uh, your next comic might not be real. Let's see. Give it up for Ed Bigglesworth. <laughs> Where's Big, where's Big Biggles at? Alright, cool. I just did that to get five more minutes. <laughs> Your next comic coming to the stage, uh, she's, she's a staple of the show, a very funny comic. Please give it up for Grace Moyer! <laughs> appointments. I was like, what does that mean? You know? It, do I just like describe it? You know, I'm like, no doctor, it doesn't burn. I said it's fire. <laughs> Maybe, you never know. Um, and 
That's what so, it sounds like when Snooki opens her legs. <laughs> she got that dog in her! <laughs> I recognize those barnacles. <laughs> If the doctor doesn't believe me, then like, what am I expected to show Kuka on camera? <laughs> but like, <laughs> no, but it's fucked up because I'm supposed to be paying them. <laughs> it smells a little fishy. Dana, yeah, that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dirty aquarium. <laughs> His filtration system's broken. It had to have worked in the first place in order for it to have been broken. He's got scale rot. That's nasty. <laughs> um, I think that... Um, it's t-shirt time! It's t-shirt time! I'm not ashamed of myself. Um, uh, I think you guys all look like a bunch of uh, grenade <laughs> grundle chodes. Hey, I'm covering mine. <laughs> uh, um, what happened in Jersey Shore? I never watched it. What was it about? <laughs> Okay, basically it's um, like eight people and they just like live in a house together and they're just a bunch of like crazy bitches and they like get drunk. That sounds like paying rent in Richmond. Come on now. <laughs> I think everybody in Richmond's good. <laughs> All colors and creeds. <laughs> Including purple ones. Here you go. Uh, <laughs> Jersey Shore, more like a Texas beach type situation. Thank you, that didn't feel deserved. Too wordy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna type you a note and hide it in your bed. That's a Jersey Shore reference. <laughs> I know it's like a little behind. Um, this was like a really popular Halloween costume like 16 years ago. <laughs> but I was not allowed to watch Jersey Shore at that time. So, uh, I only just, I just watched it. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just telling things. Um, okay, you guys look like Joke Back Mountain. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with that? See, Grace, I was gonna say the first two openly gay Republicans, so. <laughs> We're gays for Trump. <laughs> and, and no, I'm not. I just, just kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm all for Kambal. <laughs> Disclaimer, the aggressive progressive sheriff is not for Trump. Grace, I feel like I'm dressed like your disappointed dad. I mean, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> um, how many people on the way here think that's actually how you dress? <laughs> I don't think any, but I mean, maybe, who knows? Honestly, I feel very free. I'm like, once I have the glasses on, I'm like, I don't think anyone knows that this is me. Um, I think it's the blackface, honestly. <laughs> I swear to God, I was doing my makeup for this, and I was like, oh no. I came downstairs no. and I was like, Grace, are you going as Rosa Parks? <laughs> Are you going as Give it up for future Virginia Governor Grace Moyer. <laughs> Comment from the crowd. Damn, Kill Tony fell off after that Trump rally. I'm glad that didn't kill as much as that should have. Yeah. Uh... Kill Tony, more like kill whoever wrote that comment. Come on. Come on. <laughs> didn't didn't Snooki get like rocked in the face? She did, and that's okay. Well, because that happened in season one, and that's why season one is crazy. Because all the other seasons, it's like these people were celebrities, 
so they only could interact with like specific people. Snooky would. But talk season about one, that was just like them out in the world. You know, no one would have punched Snooky, but like he punched this random bitch in the bar. I feel like I'm just listening to a podcast about the Jersey Shore. It is. I'm like, I'm like, I don't have any jokes. I'm just really passionate about this television show. Grace was like, I have to wear this fit, but I need an excuse. The Jersey Shore yeah. Fan Podcast is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club and BetterHelp. Um, I will say though, it is embarrassing. Uh, Snooki is the character that I'm like second most sexually attracted to. Following Polly D. Yeah. That's a confession. That's a truth. Um, <laughs> uh, Polly D. D for do a joke. Oh my god! I literally was just like, okay, let me tell a real joke. Um, I was riffing. I'm having fun. I'm one of the, I'm one of the six comics, Monty. <laughs> those, those, those glasses are crazy. I feel like you should be rollerblading right now. You want to know? I did already have these. <laughs> Um, that's <laughs> just another fact. I, um... I thought Chaperone was a redhead. <laughs> hey, now. I know. You're an all-star. That... Get game on. And I think it's great uh, what Tra Chaperone's doing for everybody, all creeds and colors, <laughs> chartreuse, all the purple people. <laughs> purple Pony Club. I, I love when she calls photographers little bitches. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, when people ask me my ethnicity, I just say Who do you think would win a fight? Snooki or Chaperone? Um, Chaperone. Yeah. It's a tough bitch. <laughs> she is, and Snooki's like 4'7". So... She did take that punch pretty good, though. Yeah, dude, she really did. She ate that shit. I don't know. You've ever seen The Hobbit? They're pretty badass. <laughs> I haven't seen that. I'm normal. Um, <laughs> your, your dress is... Look, what about me <laughs> seems unnormal? <laughs> it's not even Halloween. <laughs> it is quite literally the day before Halloween, and you guys are all the freaks for not being in costume. Danny and I are normal. No, act, the entire crowd, they're all Mormons. They're dressed normally for Halloween. I went as my brother. I went as my other brother. They're all on Rumspringa. Comment from the crowd, this Snooki definitely lives in Chaco Bottom. <laughs> I'll have you know, I live in Jackson Ward. I like Snocko Bottom. <laughs> hey. Uh, uh, any gay out there? You say gay? I sure gay. Don't know. Uh, it doesn't gay. matter if you're gay, straight, gay. blue, purple. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I'm glad that uh, one of the I'm fantasy sure. people is gay because otherwise it was just my one friend clapping. Um, <laughs> you know, I also gay. Uh, by choice. By choice, yeah. Would you say you're a gay mer? Do you have a gay station? No, I'm normal. I've had sex before, Danny. She's a freaking young gay, a bisexual. I mean, technically, I'm having it right now, so. Beastiality. <laughs> Danny wants you to know that he fucks anything not human so bad. Good. <laughs> I, I just like, I'm sorry, Danny, I literally can't look at you. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. Can you imagine Danny cutting the hole in the, like, the bottom of like a bucket of fish? <laughs> he tries to fuck one of those prank cans of snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I keep falling out. Yeah, I'm just like a slapstick version of Jimmy. How many times do you think Danny's gotten hard with that octopus rubbing up against him? <laughs> <laughs> so you are no longer allowed in the pet smart. Uh, especially when he was driving, just lumped over like that. Aw, oh, D. Danny's just sitting there like, ha 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 ha, yeah, pretend it's funny, like I don't actually, I'm not hard right now. <laughs> there, hey, there's no empty. There's two things that get Danny off. It's Snooky and Octopus. <laughs> hey now. Calamari. Italian. Yeah, there you go, there you go, see? We brought it back. Yeah. Italian. Um, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm gay by choice. It's like when a Republican says that sexuality is a choice, so that's how you know that they're bi and choosing straight. 
you know? Oh my. Oh my, literally. I'm just like them, okay? Uh, you heard it here, folks. Grace Moyer, just like a Republican. I am! <laughs> okay? I thought you looked a little too much like Lana. <laughs> you do look like a young Sarah Palin right now. <laughs> I can see the Jersey Shore from my house. <laughs> Snooki is also a Republican um, because Obama put a tax on tanning. Obama! <laughs> um, anyways. Out of all the silliest ways to hate a black guy, you think you'd choose that one. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, she... So, uh, what was I joke in the middle of? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. What if Obama was like, yo, they're getting too close? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, let me be clear. Your skin needs to be clear. <laughs> Listen. Now, Snooki, I think you are a bad bitch. I think you can be that proud of your skin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love that, Paul E.D. Let me be clear. Uh, let me be clear. This is the situation of the situation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, um, sorry, gay by choice. Yeah, gay by choice. Um, That'd be a great band name. <laughs> it's uh, wait, that actually would that would because guys, um, I still have straight thoughts sometimes. I just don't act on them. Like you did watch the Jersey Shore. I, yeah. In 2024. <laughs> hey now. You're an all star. That's a sin. That's gross. Um, Can you imagine Grace watching Jersey Shore and being like, I'd be the queen of these bitches. <laughs> it is, the thing that's fucked up is like, I feel like if I were any of the characters genuinely, I would be Angelina. <laughs> that's for the Jersey Shore fans out yeah, there. Who the fuck is that? She's the one that's pale. No one stresses her for Halloween. Well, well yeah, because like... she sucks and everyone hates her. It's <laughs> so, like the other two members in the Black Eyed oh, Peas. Watch it yourself. What? Don't disrespect Apple D. Apple like that. Apple D. Apple. <laughs> what a crazy grace fact to know. Do you know Apple D. Apple? <laughs> hey, that's my cousin. Why did you come dress as him for Halloween? <laughs> that's racist, Monty. I told you I wasn't going to do black Oh, I'm sorry you're dressed like the illustrious Maya Angelou right now. <laughs> She said she wasn't gonna do blackface, but she was tangoing around that line. I'll show you at the castle. Obviously, I'm not tangoing around it. I'm like shaking ass on it. Oh, I'm tangling around. <laughs> I'm, said, I'm, I'm fist bumping on the line. Grace said, "I'm Selena." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love Selena Gomez. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I know the other Selena. Um, anyways. Uh, having straight thoughts is gross. Um, a lot of people say men are dogs, but for me, men are more like cats. Because I'm allergic to cats. Yeah. So sometimes I see one and I'm like, oh, that's cute. I wish I could touch it, but I know if I do, I'm going to start crying. Yeah. That's all right. I'd cry too if you touched me, so... If who touched you? <laughs> Wait, you said. <laughs> you said you would cry if I touched you? Oh my god. <laughs> Great, you look like a you look like an anti-vax mom. <laughs> I'm not gonna give my son autism. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you get oh, vaccinated, shit. you end up with a kid like this. <laughs> you look a trad wife. You think I'm gonna let them put a microchip in my baby boy? My nephew got vaccinated for diphtheria, and now he dresses like a fake superhero with an animal around his junk. Yeah, Grace is only anti-vax for her pet pug. <laughs> <laughs> Recorded that yourselves. <laughs> yeah, that's just. Um, I agree. It's been 15 minutes. I know. I really, I really don't have a joke to end on. I just end. Can I be done now? Can you, can you fist bump? Fist pump? Yeah. Okay, we're done now. Thanks, guys. I'm Snooky. Give it up for Snooky, everyone. Everyone out there? Yeah. Everyone out there?
there say woo. Woo woo. Over in front of the out there say woo. Woo. All right, next time we come to the stage, he's the drop in. We're happy he's here. I don't know if he's dressed up or not. Let's find out. Give it up for Prashant the Dow. For my boy Danny, for dressing up as a sick fuck. God damn it, son. That is crazy. Also, I'm very happy, y'all. It's election season. It's election season. I'm very happy. My dad voted for the first time in 15 years. and tired of seeing how uh, people are treating the LGBTQ community, the women, and all these immigrants. I need to do my civic duty and vote. And I was like, oh, damn, Dad. All right, I see you. That's a left turn. I don't, I don't agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I didn't believe it either. He voted for Trump. <laughs> You know what's crazy? He's not even a citizen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> nah, just kidding, y'all. <laughs> he recently got a citizenship. Yeah, I'm very happy about that. Yeah, he recently got a citizenship. Also, uh, do any of y'all uh, pregame before going to bed? <laughs> Snuggy has to go do coke in the bathroom real quick. <laughs> we all got one v one, I guess. But yeah, any of y'all pregame before going to bed? Woo! Yeah. Woo! Oh shit! <laughs> you said with this? With this? <laughs> Hell yeah, bro! You a sick fuck, dude. <laughs> but that's it. Nah, my roommate has problems, y'all. So I um, pray for him. Uh, yeah, okay, so do you all know Jubilee? Yeah. yeah. Right? It's like this fucking YouTube channel that has all these debates about like opposing parties and shit. It's like, alright. It's like there was this debate about Trump versus Kamala supporters. There was this debate between like feminists versus men's right activists. And I'm like, it's, I've seen it all. I want to see something new. It's the same fucking shit all the time. I want to see something new. I want to see ISIS versus USA. You know, like bring them to the table. Let's talk. What's going on, y'all? You would love that show, Deadliest Warrior. <laughs> what is that? They pit a bunch. They like scientifically pit like the Romans versus the Greeks or like just old. Yeah, they're like who would win, Spartans or Green Berets? <laughs> <laughs> Vikings or uh, NATO? <laughs> good, good warrior, Tyler. That's good, that's good. The deadly warrior NATO. <laughs> What's your costume, Prashant? Uh, Pedophile? Uh, <laughs> uh, cool, cool, yeah. cool, funny, very funny. Yeah, uh, no. It's, uh, that's what everyone always says after they meet me. No, the thing is that it's, uh, last year I was pregnant for Halloween. So now I'm like, I got an abortion. So, uh, Are you also in blackface? What? Are you also uh, wearing blackface? Uh, no, dude, that's my natural I thought you were being tone. Justin Trudeau. <laughs> <laughs> Not, oh wait, hold on, dude. Okay, uh, Justin Trudeau, let's talk about him. Uh, he's like the Canadian uh, whatever they have over there. You know, it's like, uh, he came out with the blackface thing, and I was like, oh, no, no, don't do that. <laughs> You're like, that guy. And awesome. then he went to India and dressed up in the whole Indian outfit. And I was like, you look good in that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stay there. <laughs> stay there. They'll like you. They really like you. It's like, the thing about India is uh, not a lot of white people. So, when you guys are there, it's like, what the fuck, last time you guys were here, you, took, you guys took over. So, you know, it's like, you know, walk, keep an eye on you. Sometimes it turns creepy, and I'm like, no, no, don't do that. Yeah, 
<laughs> All right, y'all, that's my time. My name yeah, is Prashant Adel. You guys can do as much time as you want, honestly. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, keep going. Oh, also, know. I like Justin Trudeau, whatever color he is. White, brown, purple? Yeah, all <laughs> colors, y'all. All colors. That's like, that's the thing about white people. It's like, you guys have, like, variety. You can, like, just keep switching colors. You know, it's like, if, if I do white face, you all know I'm not. It's like, the darkness still shows. You know, it's like, I can't even do neon because the darkness still shows too. It's like a dark neon. It's like spooky neon. <laughs> you know, also, you know, it's spooky season. It's fucking spooky season. It's October. It's almost getting done. And I'm trying to fuck a ghost. Yeah, I'm trying to fuck a ghost. So, I, um, I bought her a Ouija board. And I'm watching all the horror movies to see which one do I order. Uh, you're, just like, you're just like Shaggy, but not like Shaggy, but like the It Wasn't Me guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the fun thing is I don't understand any of these references, so it's funny it doesn't hurt me at all. Well, we're all going to be on your naturalization test, so please study <laughs> up. <laughs> Question 24, who is Shaggy? Like, fuck, fuck up, up. Uh, is he the guy, the guy, the guy Scooby-Doo? Yeah. Yeah, I watched that. No. Who doesn't? No. No. <laughs> they even caught me Do you know basically. about the Jersey Shore? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was that was huge. Look, I'll give it up for dehydrated Snooky. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't know why you would do that, but Snooky looking like a why snook. Why would do what? Your face. It's being very governor of Virginia, like, <laughs> like Danny Boy said. All right, y'all. Uh, I think that's it for me. Give it up for y'all. Come on, give it up for Woo! Silver, my boy. Give it up for the gang in the back. Hell yeah. the moment you've all been waiting for. Can I get your most evil laugh on three for your next comic? One, two, three. <laughs> Give it up for Shane and Erickson! my first time on stage, so, uh... Woo! It's going great. Damn, I'm already struggling. Alright. God damn it, Shaden. This isn't as easy as Fantasy League football! No, yeah, you're... Well, I've, I, I've failed at that, so... Um, okay, I'm gonna use my notes. <laughs> oh, three days ago that I had to do this, by the way, so... I remembered this morning that I had to do this. <laughs> now, usually I don't do this, but uh... Oh my god, this is bad. What do you think about R. Kelly? <laughs> huh? What are, you, what are your thoughts on R. Kelly? <laughs> uh, I wish he was free. <laughs> no, uh, he's cool. The hell yeah? No, not really, he's not that cool. R. Kelly's last victim. Um, I have five minutes of this, right? No, oh, you have ten, brother. <laughs> ten? For real? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Okay. Um, You're shaded. Come on, brother. I don't want your yeah. dad to have my ass. That's fair. Um, Alright, so this is my first time on stage. I'm gonna imagine you guys naked. Nice penis. <laughs> I want you to go deep in me. Alright. Have you ever been swallowed up? Right. Comment from the crowd, he looks like he pisses on kids. <laughs> you do look like pissing Calvin. <laughs> was that you, Robbie? <laughs> that was you, Robbie, I know it. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, yeah, I like living in Richmond, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's, it's funny how how gay Richmond has gotten, and used to be the capital of the Confederacy. <laughs> Just saying. But that's a good thing. White, brown, blue, purple. Exactly. I like it. It's way better. Like, so you're yeah. Robin, you're 
It's way better that it's gay now. I have no, I'm... That's what they should do with the monuments. They should just made him gay. Just, exactly. Just Robert Lee just choking down a hog. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Oh. I'm still on the horse, just trying to keep his balance. Arthur Ashe is like, mm, them white boys crazy. <laughs> My dad thought I was... Cut out all the racket. I'm sorry, go ahead, Ryan Sheckler. <laughs> My dad thought I was gay for the longest time because I like that, so Raven. <laughs> uh, I just like black women, it's okay. Um, <laughs> have you guys seen, uh, what is it, Antonio, uh, who, who's that guy? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, you talking about Eddie from That's So Raven, Antonio Brown? Yeah, exactly. Have you guys seen him lately? I don't think it's Antonio Brown. I think that was the wide receiver for the Steelers, dude. Neither? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Fuck, it is something else. <laughs> Neither of them are doing too well right now. Neither of them are doing too well. There's a new progressive sheriff in town. <laughs> um... Okay. Dude, I feel like you have a tech deck in your pocket right now. Dude, that would be cool. I would just do tricks the entire time. Um... <laughs> comment for the crowd, why is he hiding? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, comment for the crowd, what is he hiding? <laughs> I'm nervous as fuck, dude. I'm trying to I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know shape. what to do with my hands. Yeah, let's go! I, 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 this, I lost this fantasy league two years ago, and I'm here. <laughs> I thought I got out of it. I thought, you know, statues were limited. I like to think you were, like, walking to the store and they just threw you in a van. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's basically what happened. Um, it's always okay, my what favorite, else should we talk about? I was, I was just gonna say, it's always my favorite thing that we willingly do open my comedy, and then for every like fantasy league, it's like a punishment. <laughs> You're like, you have to do this now. Yeah, if you can tell, I don't like talking in front of people, so this is going This is going Comment wonderful. from the crowd, it's like if Kill Tony collaborated with Barstool. <laughs> Hell yeah, that was standing by the Barstool, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Who's your favorite football team? Who you like? Uh, the Bills. And they fucked you, you lost your fantasy league because of the Bills? I mean, yeah, DeMar Hamlin died, so that fucked me a little bit. <laughs> I, was so. say, I was gonna say, he said something about Barstool, but his case races for the statute of limitations. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it, whatever. Um, okay. Here, Comment here. from the crowd, Bills will lose to the Chiefs. Probably. That's happened like we'll four let, years ago. We'll let you for right a second. Do, do your job. Alright, Shaden, if your name could be anything other than Shaden, what would it be? <laughs> anything. Anything. Anything Erickson's fired. Josh Allen. Josh Allen Erickson? <laughs> yeah, what can I say? If you, if um, Alright, if your skin could be any other race than the one you have, <laughs> it could be blue, purple, yep. <laughs> black. Racist. <laughs> Uh, do, do some of your jokes you wrote. You have to actually do the thing that you're being punished for. Yeah. 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 Punish him, crowd! <laughs> Throw him shade in, crowd! Has everyone voted yet? Send in your ballots and everything? Yeah? No. yeah? No. Okay. Well, it's your civic duty. It's your civic duty to do that, so you better... No, you're just on probation. <laughs> <laughs> um... I'm upset. It's versus a Oompa Loompa, um, versus Rachel Dolezal. <laughs> Do you guys know who that is? Yeah. Yeah, the white lady that said she was black for the NAACP. She has a fire only fans. It's on Reddit though. Don't spend you know your fifteen dollars. You know what's so funny? I follow Rachel Dolezal on Instagram. Let's go. I know like all of her kids' names and Let's everything. Go. I love that bitch. Her ass is fat. Eh. I like eh. black women. <laughs> All right. Hey, no. Can you imagine? All right. Can you imagine being like, like some black chick being like, "Oh yeah, I met a guy. He's really sweet." I'm like, what's his name? Shaden. It's happened a couple. Wait, is times. that your cousin? No, no, no. He's a white man. <laughs> yeah. Most people think my name's Michael because my that's my middle name. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Comment for the crowd. What are you doing to me, step presidential candidate? <laughs> I got my head stuck in the ballot box. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> um, 
Okay, Trump is pretty uh, not good, in my opinion. <laughs> it sucks that people, you know, around my age, my skin color, uh, idolize an 80-year-old an 80-year-old with a spray tan. It's pretty gay. You would think uh, he would figure out, you know, not the orange tone by now. <laughs> These aren't his jokes. These are just pick-up lines for black women. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Okay, let's see. This is just his Tinder bio. <laughs> He's from know. white people, black people meet. <laughs> Trump always talks about deported immigrants. I hope he's ready for his golf courses to look a lot worse. <laughs> I do land. Wait, Alta Shaden, what are you doing all the way over here? Stand in the middle of the stage. Sorry. Dude, okay. That shit's bright, dude. It's shining right in my eyes. You're the star. Um, he's scared he's gonna walk off stage looking like Snooki. <laughs> I hate when celebrities give endorsements like I'm. Um, I'm gonna listen to Hulk Hogan ripping his shirt off on stage to vote for Donald Trump. Yeah, he's um, gonna get hard. Exactly. Um, how bummed were you when Mac Miller died? How bummed was <laughs> I? Would, I'll be honest, I was sad for like three months. <laughs> for like three months. I think I got every single oh, one God, of his albums. Oh, he said it all in faces, fuck! <laughs> and then Circles came out and I was like, He's a genius. He knew this was oh going to happen. Oh my god, and then swimming came and I didn't know what to do. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to stop doing coke. Mac Miller died a week later. He's doing coke again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do coke. Uh, Pepsi. Oh my uh, god. Uh, Comment uh, from the crowd. Uh, <laughs> he lost the fantasy league and the real punishment was that we all ran a train on him. He won't tell you that. <laughs> Dude, if all like 13 of your Degrassi friends ran a train on you, <laughs> Um, I wouldn't want to get caught in that traffic. <laughs> I'd never nice. Be in time. And I'm perfectly fine with any kind of love. <laughs> any kind of train, blue, purple. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> All right, what else we got to talk about, guys? How you want to talk about how you got a Thomas the Tank train engine ran on you? <laughs> All the, the faces was... just. <laughs> His name wasn't Thomas. Hey, it was Tyrone. Racist. You want to? You can do. Uh, Comment from the crowd. Ask him about Snickers. No. Racist. No, they wanted me to do this joke, but I'm not going to do that. Oh no! Do the joke. Do the joke. Do the joke. Do the joke. Okay. All right. Uh, Unless it's a rhyming joke, then please. No, it's that. not a rhyming joke. I wish it was. It would be over a lot faster. Okay. Um, so when I was a kid, I grew up in Hampton, Virginia. Have you guys ever been there? Seven five. All right. Well, I grew up there. My dad brought me to Seven Eleven, the one that thought I was gay because I like that sort of raven. But wait, did you have another dad? <laughs> Sounds like he's gay, and I'm fine no. with that. <laughs> no, a little throwback to earlier in the set. No big deal. But um, uh, <laughs> his dad was robbed. Why did you get train this? <laughs> Um, there was a giant Snickers sign in the God damn, are you gonna really think? All right, there's a giant Snickers sign in the middle of the store. Um, you guys want to take the S off of Snickers, not the first S. I mean, the first S, not the last S. I did that to my dad in Hampton, Virginia. Uh, he beat my ass. I didn't get my candy. Um, I don't know why they wanted me to tell this joke because it's a—it's like one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. <laughs> I said basically the N word when I was four years old in the middle of 7-Eleven in Hampton, and my dad looked at me like. Yo, you, you just said that? You realize I have to like beat your ass and build this 7-Eleven and look not racist? And then, and, then, so, uh, and then Prashant's dad was like, get out of my store. <laughs> he did tell me about that. He did tell me about that. This, this little white boy said it and his dad beat his ass. That was crazy. I was like, yeah, dad, yeah. That was crazy. Beat his ass. I think we're done here. Yeah, this, this, this has been a uh, confession cast. Yeah, right. All right. <laughs>
going to come back up here. You get to be third mic for your buddy going up. Yeah, for your, for your best buddy. Your guy coming in next. Right there, that mic right there. He's the next one in the punishment line. Give me, give, give me your best witch's laugh for your next comic coming to the stage. He, it's his punishment. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> Let's see if he can be funnier than Shaden. Please give it up for Ryan Forbes! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am actually, for Halloween this year, I went as a tall person. Um, I'm actually the same height as Monty back here. <laughs> Your two Montys stack on top of each other. <laughs> um, it's 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 kind of weird being a tall person though sometimes because like people feel the need to come up to you like all the time and tell you that you're tall, and I never know how to sit, respond to that. Like, thanks. Sometimes I go like, thanks you too, but then you got people like Monty and they're like, hey, fuck you, man. I'm only five eight. I've never had a conversation with you before. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, like you. We like you. Um, but yeah, no, it, it, it is sometimes weird. And then sometimes people come up to you. Did your voice just crack? <laughs> yeah. Are you going through puberty right now? It's like Rosemary. He woke up, he was like, whoa, what am I doing up here? I'm trying to make it to 6 8, brother. He's like, Holy shit! He knows how to stand, stand in the middle of the stage, though, so that's better than me. Uh, comment from the crowd. His height is not as big as Pickle. What? <laughs> Let's see, Ryan. Uh, comment from the crowd. How is he 14 and 30 at the same time? <laughs> no, no, but, like, people come up to you sometimes and they'll tell you, like, the... They'll tell you, like, the best idea that they've ever had. Um, like something that like no one has ever told you before and like they think that they are very original. They'll like, come up to you and they'll be like, hey, um, I don't know if you've ever thought about this, but like, have you ever considered playing basketball? Racist. <laughs> <laughs> has nothing to do with your height. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it doesn't. It's always awkward though, because you have to like explain to them that like I'm just not good enough to make it to the NBA. Oh. Uh, come on, come from the crowd. Is this Corbin Blue from Shaco Bob? <laughs> GED musical. <laughs> uh, trade school musical. <laughs> no, though I. The thing is, though, is like I hate disappointing people. Like you know, I hate telling people like I just am not good enough. God, brother, your voice is five two. I swear to God. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> but um, you have a beautiful voice, right? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Did you know I like black women? I'll make an exception for you, Ryan. <laughs> I'm gonna come. <laughs> No, though, I mean, the only reason I'm up here tonight is he's the only one who has a king-size race car bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's DeMar Hamlin died on the field. A limousine car bed. <laughs> Stretch and navigate. Oh. Well, this is worse than I thought it would go. <laughs> no, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's not that easy, is it? <laughs> No, it's Shit sucks. So like, <laughs> but you can also you can also see that like I'm also pretty ethnically ambiguous as some people would say. Racist. Thank you. Um, people will come up to you and they always try to bring it up in the most weird way. Like they'll just come up to you and they'll be like, "Hey, so like, what are you?" <laughs> and he'll be like, "Tall." <laughs> but then they'll, you know, no, 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 they'll, they'll stop. They'll stop you and they'll, they'll be like, "Oh, let me guess, Hispanic." No. Puerto Rican. Those are kind of the same thing. We're not going to do any- Racist. <laughs> Alright, Tony Hinchcliffe, calm down. I know, I was going to say, we're not going to do any Puerto Rican jokes tonight. <laughs> Sensitive topic. Um, <laughs> uh, comment from the crowd, big bird looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, though, I, um... Uh, comment from the crowd, the guy behind him in Bill's hat keeps looking at his ass and licking his lips. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. Um, <laughs> My lips are chapped, I'm sorry dude, I forgot chapstick. 
This is this is the newest season of Robin Big. These two. <laughs> I, I, I hate I hate disappointing people though, and, and I sometimes um, I, I feel it when I you know it just just kind of happens, and you know I, I I've lost some things because of it. Like I can't go to my favorite pizza place anymore. Um, yeah, no, it's brutal. Um, I... <laughs> what happened? Why? Yeah, no, like, so I... Uh, did you grow in the store and blew out the roof? No. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, uh... I went in there one day and there was a new guy. He, he was from Afghanistan. Um... Oh, great. <laughs> and he saw me, he saw me, and he was like, oh. He just, he just shouted out at the store. He was like, Arabic! <laughs> you are Arabic, right? And, and I had to tell him, like, no, I am, I am when like one white person loves one black person, and that equals me. Uh, I thought you were going to say you thought you were another tower and tried to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing scarier than 9-11. <laughs> if you think she should suffer. No, no, I... I had to explain to him why I was like, no, I, I'm not Arabic. And he was like, but you speak Arabic, right? <laughs> no, I was like, I'm an American. I, I speak American only. I... Same here, brother. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. <laughs> Red, white, and blue. Um... <laughs> God, I bet you boys carry so many chairs when you're wrapping up church. <laughs> <laughs> Shaden, what's the wildest thing you've seen Ryan do? I uh, tall. Just be that fucking tall, yeah. <laughs> Take the stilts off, it's not hollow scream, man. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Does he do that a lot? Does he always say, like, so let's go? No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's go. Think... <laughs> He's big dog. We... I've got like three times, dude. <laughs> Wait, Eric, how old are you? Eric? Oh, Eric. Shit, sorry. Oh, Ryan. Ryan, how old? How tall are you? How old are you? <laughs> tall or old? I mean, whichever you want to answer. <laughs> I am 24. 24. Oh. I think. Um, but yeah, no, I can't. I can't go to that pizza place anymore because every time I go in there, he he would just ask if I could speak Arabic, and he told me he was like, "You need to learn how to speak Arabic. It's, it's a beautiful language. It's the language of love." I wasn't sure that that's was the language of love, but I was like, "All right, man. Like, I'll." For you, I'll learn Arabic. He, he was also holding my pizza, so... I just wanted my pizza. I... I then went in there two days later, which is why I'm not in the NBA. Um, oh, that's why? Yes. The diet. The diet kills you. <laughs> he... All the food he eats has to have a parachute when he swallows it. <laughs> He saw me again, and he was like, you learned how to speak Arabic. I was like, dude, it's been, it's been two days. Like, I, I have not learned how to speak Arabic. And he was like, you gotta learn. Like, next time you come in, I'm only gonna speak in Arabic to you, so you can learn. So I, I tried, I did try, because I didn't like to disappoint people. So I went, I went home, I downloaded the Duolingo app, like a good person. I opened it up, I saw that fucking owl, and I... <laughs> he just wanted to find out how to say tall in Spanish. <laughs> I went straight back to scrolling on Instagram. That's what I did. <laughs> Ryan, you, you remember the first adult penis you saw as a kid? <laughs> yeah, let's get into it. Let's go. Well, you started uh, talking about pizza. My uncle Charlie, aka or, uh, Chucky, aka Chucky Cheese, they sell pizza. I remember I was like six Were years you old. You a pizza place in Washington D.C. by chance? No, he was just chilling in his wheelchair because he had Parkinson's, but, um, that was like, sorry for your loss. Dude, <laughs> he had the biggest penis I've ever seen in my entire life. When you're that little and you see another, an adult's penis as a seven-year-old. <laughs> Dude, this is like a weird, bizarro version of us. <laughs> I don't know if I can help you without that. I think okay, Ryan. What's this is complicated town? <laughs> no, but then this dude he he pulled up at me outside my house. He just pulled out right outside. I feel like your thoughts have to take like a car to get to your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> 
How long does it take for piss to hit the toilet, like from how where you are? Oh, forever. Like at least like ten Mississippi. Well, it's pretty close to the toilet. Uh, I feel like when you come, all you, all you hear is your sperm just go. Did your knees get altitude sickness? <laughs> no, but this dude, he, he pulled up outside of my house. I was just standing there and he was like, Arabic, you must have learned to speak Arabic now. And he started speaking Arabic to me and I was like, I saw two police officers walking by and I was like, hey, he's got a bomb. And then I just ran away. Racist. Yeah, it was, it was very bad. This dude just wanted to teach me Arabic and I just, I just, I just refuse to learn, because I'm a true American. Mm -hmm. That joke really came up short. <laughs> but no, I, I, sometimes you feel disappointing too when you go into the barbershop and they see you at this height. Everyone just thinks you should play in the NBA. All these older black guys, they're, they're just like, hey, you, you, how did you not make it to the NBA? And I walked in there one time and there's this old head and he was just like, Granted about how good he was at basketball, and if he was just a little bit taller, he would have been in the NBA. <laughs> Did someone say tall? <laughs> I walked in, yeah, and he saw me, and he was like, Man, if I had that motherfucker's height, you would have never heard of Michael Jordan. I'd have had that motherfucker selling used cars in North Carolina for the rest of his goddamn life. Man, how are you not in the NBA? I just looked at him and I was like, Do you speak Arabic? <laughs> Um, that's it for me, really. Um, everybody, there's an election on Tuesday. Go, go, go. Unless you're going to vote for the wrong person, then take the day off. Don't do anything. All right, say your name. Ryan Forbes. Thank you, everybody. Shaden did better, make some noise. If you think if you think Ryan did better, make some noise. Ooh, I don't know. I think that's a tie. Alright, who we'll go to whoever's taller. <laughs> go give it up to Ryan, everyone. Alright, we got We got two more comics for y'all. Thank y'all for sticking out. Your next comic coming to this stage, he's a little silly Billy. He had a costume that he's been waiting to unveil. I really hope it involves nipple tassels. Please give it up for Charlie Larry! <laughs> I'm a cool mummy, y'all! <laughs> One minute remaining. <laughs> oh, shit! That was an accident. That was an accident. <laughs> they want me off the stage already. They can't handle what I got to say. <laughs>
We're like King Fuck. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I was a pharaoh. I had Jewish slaves. Uh, what do you think about that? <laughs> it was at the time, okay? We didn't know it was wrong then. We just... <laughs> You know, we just, you know, we were just like, yeah, let's kill, I don't know, let's kill all the firstborn Jews. I don't know, we thought, we, we didn't know it was wrong. Wait, what? Weren't mummies the ones with, uh, never mind. They were kings. <laughs> yeah, they were. Yeah. I was a goddamn king, you son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 I fucked my sister, I had to marry my sister, that's This is like tradition. the reverse of Grace's costume, this is my face. <laughs> He's like the Invisible Man. <laughs> the Invisible Man, yeah, that's what, uh, that's what your girl calls me, because after I fucked her, she didn't call, I didn't call her back. I didn't, I go her. Oh! <laughs> Bitch better have my mummy. <laughs> I hope that bitch don't got scarabs. <laughs> Yeah, I was fucking this uh, this mummy girl. She's also she's so old. Her, her pussy had scarabs and dust in it. <laughs> he, he doesn't run Eiffel Towers. He runs pyramids. Yeah. I don't know what the Eiffel Tower is. I died thousands of years before it happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mummy's twitch. That's uh, uh that's a, I, uh, I was w awoken from the grave because these British guys took me out. <laughs> they were pricks. Uh. Comment from the crowd. You think he uses the mummy bandages to wipe his sphinxster? Ooh. Uh, no, that would be, do you think I wipe my ass with my own bandages? That's unhygienic, you piece of shit. Fuck you. That's sick and cruel. Uh, Comment from the crowd. King Tut, more like King Two Ply. <laughs> okay. Thank you, crowd. Um, <laughs> two pop, more like Two Ply. Hey, come on. What uh, items did they put in your tomb from your life? Oh yeah, let's see. What did they put? They put some fucking. They put Hennessy in there. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> They put my favorite cats. Egyptians love cats. Uh, and Cat Williams. <laughs> they put Cat Williams in there. <laughs> my favorite comedian. That is my favorite cat. <laughs> He's an actual cat, but uh, no. Funny. Um, <laughs> what else did I put in there? Have you ever noticed this? Okay, the upper Nile is on the bottom and the lower Nile is on the top. Who the fuck named this river? A fucking upside down man? Come on. Check it out. Also, let me just say, I'm glad all the jocks came on dress up night. Um, it makes me feel cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this isn't his costume. They just gave him a swirly before. <laughs> Yeah, they just covered me in toilet. This fucking tall guy, I'm trying not to look at him. He, he's a bully. Uh, he looks like he looks like you before you got turned into a mummy. Yeah. They pulled my brain out, I shrank, I don't know. Uh, it's a mummy uh, process. Uh, okay. Asalaamu Alaikum. Uh, <laughs> That's civil. I looked up Egyptian phrases before I came up. Oh, alaikum is an Egyptian phrase. That's what it came up with. I was like, no, that's not right. That's, that's not right. That's a, it's a similar thing, but, you know, different. You know, Prashant would know. Uh, <laughs> is Prashant Egyptian? But, no. but, well, no, that's the whole point. They're all close, and I'm raised. But I'm a mummy, so we didn't know about India. I don't know. Um, Racist. Yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's, that, that's the sound that was made when I came out of my tube. <laughs> <laughs>
Did you know uh, King Ramses or any other? Oh, King, oh, King Ramses. <laughs> fuck that mummy. Come on. <laughs> That mummy fucker. That mummy fucker, dude. Yeah, that's fuck. Yeah, dude. He would fuck. Before he was a mummy, he fucked mummies. That's wrong. That's uh, wrong and sick. <laughs> <sighs> All right, four more minutes. Jesus. Uh, it's Comment from the crowd. You can tell this guy is inbred by the short leg that keeps shaking. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's my mummy twitch. Uh, I got it after I fucked your mother. <laughs> that's, Fuck your mummy. Fuck your mummy. Okay, clever. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that. Y'all know, how, you, you, you know how when you die and you have to go through that like obstacle course. What? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of Egyptian facts in this. That's okay. I, just, <laughs> I can't see the audience, but I'm assuming it's a lot of Egyptianologists. Uh, <laughs> They all love these references. I really, uh, hope, I really hope you watch like a 25 minute Egypt history <laughs> video. <laughs> <sighs> oh man. Comment for the crowd. Uh, I'm in the front bathroom. Can I get some toilet paper? I ran out. <laughs> <laughs> this is my skin. Also, no one smoked that one. Okay. This is my skin, so that's fucked up and wrong. Uh, it's not their skin. That's not their skin. It's my skin. You're gonna tell me what is my skin? Oh shit! You fucking idiot! You look like the Zodiac Killer skin. <laughs> <laughs> uh. you, you, you look like a lesbian farmer. Uh. <laughs> you look like the scarecrow that beat my field. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Uh, the embalming fluid. What was it like to meet Ben Stiller? <laughs> oh, ben Stiller, yeah, he woke me up in the museum. That piece of shit. I was like, you're Jewish, shouldn't you be one of my slaves? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he tried to take the two coins resting on your eyes. Then they had, they had to explain, like, uh, then the thing, then like, uh, you know, like a JFK came to life and explained to me that I was wrong now. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, but it was a good time. He's a great guy. Uh, we made up. Uh, I like to think that his, uh, his, his sarcophagus is just the Charmin bear. <laughs> I love those bears. <laughs> they're, they're the only people who match my excitement to shit. <laughs> like, but most people are not excited enough. Like, I love getting shit out of me. Like, I don't like shit, so I'm excited to see it leave. Um, Comment from the crowd. Uh, this guy got bukkake and he is now called a cummy. Alright. Alright. Okay. Uh, you comment from the crowd, what is this open mic night at the museum? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, <laughs> what do you think about I'll give that one to the crowd? That was a good one. Uh, what do you think about Brendan Fraser? Oh uh, fuck that guy, dude. That oh fuck, I hate that motherfucker, dude. He's he's coming for mummies, dude. That was racist. That movie was racist. I know, I know you're not going to be on my side because I was talking about Jewish slaves, but uh, that was racist to us, to mummies, the dead kings. Uh, the dead kings of comedy. The dead kings of comedy. <laughs> Tootin' comment, I'm not who. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, I'm not, is it the president of Israel? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Netanyahu? Yeah, no, he's also or, a king. Uh, modest Yahoo. Yahoo? You know Modest Yahoo, the Jewish rapper? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm, I'm cool with those guys now. Uh, <laughs> don't put me in a trap. Uh, anyways, uh, sarcophagus. Take that monkey shit, son. You embarrass the good. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Uh, let's see, I don't, I don't have much else. This is a... Uh, you ran out of Egyptian facts? I ran out of Egyptian facts. This was more for a five-minute Egyptian set, not a ten-minute one. <laughs> He ran out of Snapples. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, all right, I'm gonna return to my tomb now. Thanks, guys. Uh -oh. yeah. Give it going for uh, Charlie Lang, everyone, the mummy. Come on, let him hear it. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, everyone, are you, are you ready for your final comic of the night? Yeah. Did y'all have fun tonight? Yeah. Good night, everyone. I'm in 
haven't seen him in a while, but he came out here to close this bitch out the way it should be. Please give it up for the very funny Big Jimmy! It's Tim Burton. Oh, Tim Burton. It's Timbaland Burton. <laughs> Tim Burton, they had a good move since 89. I'm sick of him. The year 89 with Chucky. What's up, y'all? Woo! Uh, glad to be back at Basic City Comedy. Or as I affectionately call Basic Bitch Comedy. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about YouTube. <laughs> you fucking idiots. <laughs> Are you a pair of idiots? Nah, I'm, 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 I'm progressive. He's just Jimmy to me. Yup. <laughs> I've been working on my new ebook, but it probably won't happen. It was it was gonna be called How to Slide on Your Ox with a forward by King Vaughn and Little Dirk. <laughs> Unfortunately, it probably won't happen. <laughs> King Dirk, he was an Egyptian pharaoh in uh, <laughs> 1000 BC. He's a good friend of mine. There you go. But he just eating noodles right now. So. <laughs> if your pharaohs eat wartime food, hey, get your worship on. What can I say? Yep. Yeah. Woman ain't got no uh, woman's intuition. They call it woman's intuition, but I actually work in the field. It's called behavioralism, when you just notice people's behaviors and a slight change, you're like, hey, something's wrong. Wait, in the field of what, bitches? <laughs> There's no field called bitches. <laughs> <laughs> See, on Halloween, I'm on my own. You're Dr. Big Jimmy. <laughs> there you go. I'm at peace on Halloween. I'm in touch with my church's side. Yeah. <laughs> he just came from a chunk or tree. <laughs> I don't do no tricking, trunking, no treating. Well, I treat a little bit. But no trunking and no tricking. Okay. <laughs> Jimmy, whenever you finish talking, you sound like a dragon. It's <laughs> like... <laughs> 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 I know you're talking to smog. <laughs> Game of Thrones, mother. Dukes of Hazzard be Game of Thrones. But yeah, it's just behavioralism. They just look at your patterns, what you do and don't do. So I mix it up a little bit. If I come in the front door Monday, I come in the back door Tuesday, and I come through the window on Wednesday, she ain't never know what the fuck I'm doing. She be looking through my phone, but I ain't worried about my phone. I'm old school, keeping numbers in my wallet. They never look at your wallet. <laughs> Yo, it was crazy early because Homeboy was on the stage and it was like a real Jersey Shore moment because he had Snooky behind him eating pizza and drinking beer. <laughs> That's as fucking Jersey as it gets, man. Yeah. Maybe you want pastrami for some reason. <laughs> Where you taking it? That's racist. Pastrami. Thank you. Yeah, pastrami. I'm, like, I'm purposely being racist, and he's not even. Well, I'm sick. Well, when you do it, it's called justice. <laughs> yeah, against Italian. I hate these new Tesla robots because they blackface man. It don't seem right that they just be serving people and soon they may be fucking them. I don't know how I feel about a te the black face Tesla robot. The shit bothers me. Charlie looks like a Tesla robot right now. Uh, yeah, I, th I didn't know what he I thought he said a Tuscan robot. I was. <laughs> <laughs> like an Italian robot. Some, I was like, I, I haven't followed the news on this. I don't know what a. Some greasy Tesla owner. Uh, fucking the blackface robot from behind. There's something about that make me queasy. I don't like it. Yeah, that's now that's racist. I recognize that. Great. Hey man, it's a it's, it's a small contingent. I don't know how big or small it is, but there is a contingent that have been waiting on them Tesla robots ever since uh, the Civil Rights Movement. They've been waiting on them motherfuckers. <laughs> 
I have a dream. One day, everybody will have a black face for a butt. Yo, you know what would be funny with old little black boys, little black girls? So sit down with little black face robots and little white face robots. There you go. I like the robots from I robot. The white face robots. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I like them too. Those are cool robots, I like them too. Those are the safe robots. That was like Will Smith's punch towards the There you go. That was Will Smith's chance for equality. He blew it. Terrible. <laughs> Who's the dude on here before? Ray Forbes looks like one of the uh I robot robots. Who the fuck is Ray? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ryan Ford. Ryan Ford. Yo, of the Forbes family. When y'all said Ed Bigglesworth or whatever that dude's name was, I never met him. I thought it was the skinny tall dude with that lifeguard uniform. I knew it was him. I said, that's definitely Ed Bigglesworth. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> that's racist, man. <laughs> Someone saying that's racist with a chuckle after it. That's awesome. <laughs> I be Ubering and it just be so crazy because it be like white people save money. It'll be a five dollar Uber. Y'all the stuff for y'all motherfuckers in that five dollar Uber boy. Y'all spend like a dollar twenty five cent a piece, like the Dollar Tree, to get to your destination. I fuck with y'all for that. Y'all save that money. Y'all stack a car deep to go to the club. <laughs> Black people be one day on the way to work. <laughs> Spending twenty three dollars. I feel like, bro. And white people, when they go to work, their bike be on the front of the bus. They riding for free down through Richmond. Them motherfuckers get to work for free. They ride the bike from Short Pump all the way down to Staples Mill. Catch the link. They be on it, boy. That bike be on the front. I be seeing them motherfuckers. I used to work at Capital One. Them white people come in there tired from riding that bike. They go in that goddamn bathroom. They come out. Hey, how you doing, James? How you feeling? I know what y'all motherfuckers in there doing. And they won't no fucking shower. Always remember when you celebrate your Halloween that when you go to that hotel room, what? you do your thing. Huh? Just know that Jesus see what you was really doing and he knew that you won't bother for apples. Yeah, this is a white person thing. We go to hotel rooms and put up like fake spider webs and pumpkins and, <laughs> and bob for apples. Yeah, bob for apples. It's kind of satanic. Uh, oh, and black people, we just go and, 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 and try to steal like, you know, their, their robes and shit like that. Say, we like to stay road. in the pool after hours. We like fuck the time they in the pool. We gonna stay in the pool. This is a Halloween tradition. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Black people ain't into all that shit. The day of the dead and all that shit. Not as much. We coming around though. Y'all gave us Juneteenth, so we like fuck it. We do Halloween. No, you earned Juneteenth. <laughs> ain't nobody earned no damn Juneteenth. I'm just taking one. So Hold on, man. Yeah. There you go again. Y'all know what I'm saying about June, man. Fuck Juneteenth. I'm gonna tell you why. He said that. Dude. How you celebrate a day of being the last motherfuckers to know some shit? I can't get over that. All right, look, it's quiet. I like that. There you go. Wow. We're learning. We're learning. Huh? We're learning. There you go. Please. There was a group of Texas people in Texas. Mm -hmm. Slavery was over. Them motherfuckers worked two and a half years more. They found out they was free and they created a holiday. That's like being at work on Saturday and your co-worker call you and be like, Fred, you still at work? You got off on Friday at five o'clock. Let's make a holiday. <laughs> you know, like I said, man, I don't do many church shows. I'm a little edgy. I can't help it. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're doing church shows? No, he's not doing Yeah, 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 yeah. I did a church show, but I fucked up. I did like a dead body joke, but church is always pay though, still, you know? <laughs> you did stand up at a church? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, the lady came through, she like, church show, church show, church show. Because I had forgotten, you know, for a second, you know? I just seen the street and people. I thought I was just in the city doing jokes. You know? Big Jimmy was hot boxing in the fucking parking lot. She came out just, <laughs> there you go. Jimmy jokes, come on. I, I was on that same church show dressed as a mummy. They, uh, <laughs> they were trying to hate that. Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't be hot boxing like that. Can't be smoking that shit. They be smoking. I was in California. They like we got thirty one percent. I'm like, uh, you got twelve percent. I don't want to be stupid. I just want to get a little high. <laughs> I still want to present myself. Shit. I'm at work. Fuck. 
Oh, my God. <laughs> Big Chimmy's doing open heart surgery. Just stoned as fuck. Yeah. I've been loving Uber, though, because I've been driving like this electric car. Ew, so I, I be feeling real bougie, so I be eating seaweed salad while waiting on my car to charge and shit. Yeah. That shit be fun. <laughs> eating, drinking, kom what a kombuka? Kombucha. 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 It's Whatever Kamala. <laughs> It's Kamala. Kamala. So there you go. Kamala. They got some oh. green powder. Oh, no, come on over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mike. Well, fuck it. I can still talk. I'm so proud that you didn't groan when you did that. <laughs> I did public speaking in high school. I know that project my voice across the room. Yeah. God, bitch, you Hey, bitch, come here. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh, honey. I got the perfect pickup line. How's about you let me buy you a fish sandwich or something? <laughs> All women it's like what? fish sandwiches. Always remember that. All women like fish sandwiches. Uh, women, do you like fish sandwiches? <laughs> I don't know, man. That's all I forgot. Oh, yeah, that should be crazy, too, because I've been seeing lately, especially with this Halloween traffic, that white people don't know how to crawl the street. Like, y'all don't give a fuck if that shit got, this, that got the, the person walking or the stop sign. Y'all gonna just be on the phone, just walk across the street, jaywalking, all that shit. Because I checked with VCU. VCU said, we can't get them for jaywalking and all that. I said, man, lock them motherfuckers up. <laughs> Black people don't do that shit. Black people, we about to walk out the street. Y'all have seen this shit. Y'all have had a car. Y'all be like, y'all come on. The black person be like, oh no, y'all come on. We let the car go first. My ain't gonna hit me. No, sir. You go first. Two black people real bad off. That shit like a Mexican standoff. <laughs> Racist. Hell yeah. You just, you just. Cause the black person be like, the one walking be like, no, nah, cause you might hit me. The, the, the person in the car be like, no, because you might, I might, might motherfucking hit you, so you both be going like this for like 10 minutes. That's how that shit happened. I ain't crossed, motherfucker ain't hit me with no goddamn car. <laughs> I met one white boy, he thought he was hard. I'm gonna put his head on the, on the hood of my car, he'll walk with the girl, he did like a Heisman pose. I was like, that motherfucker showing off. You just a bitch. Not on the Tesla. Yeah, he could have died. And no, no, I ain't no Tesla, man. I ain't big time like that. I thought you said you had an electric car. I drive a Kona. <laughs> what is that? You so drive manly. One. That's why I'm mad for white people stuffing it. This shit's small as fuck, and I'm tall. I'm like, how many more y'all motherfuckers you got? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> they come running out that goddamn hotel. You bought six of them. We headed up to Taza's Kitchen, baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're going to get tapas. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> y'all still all right though. Y'all tip pretty good, especially on Sunday while y'all drunk talk football. Okay, what is your fucking job? Because I've got it. Are you an Uber, Uber driver? driver. Yeah, you said multiple times you drove Uber. Okay. Yeah, I do a bunch of shit. Whatever get that bread. <laughs> it's hard times. We got inflation. Last thing I got to say to you, get that money. Yeah. And it ain't, it ain't fucking what you do. It's the fuck who you do it to. Comment from the crowd. I'm replacing my white. Oh, here's a comment from the crowd. Uh, I'm replacing my white noise for Jimmy's voice. Uh, comment from the crowd. Barry White died and came back as a Rams fan. It's shaking my head. That's just racist. Race. I'm a Redskins fan, of course. <laughs> Let's go smoke weed in the parking lot. There's only one beer left. Back to screaming all in our ears that we're deaf. Tell me, do a number on a label. You don't want the MCs and drink them under the table like it's all there.